very quickly, the, here you can see the structure of the lab. It's essentially the same that in the first lab of Pi, produce an open ACC and open AP version for GPU and run it, build it and run it on, on Perlmutter. We will be addressing again, um, finding opportunities. In the code we provide to you, you can see that you have the double pointer representation with the usual syntax that provides that we use for multidimensional arrays. But in the code, you will see that the matrices are allocated using double pointers, okay? Okay, so in the lab, we propose you to use a double pointer representation for matrices of two dimensions. You can take a look at the way the memory is allocated and the way the data is processed, the regular array syntax for the matrix matrix multiplication. Then uh, we can see that by profiling, we can determine that there is only one function that is the hotspot. So let's use the same use cases that we use in the open in the Pi laboratory. So use code entry level report, increase, provide, produce the insights for GPU, follow the level two recommendations to see that this is low level in complexity from the point of view of optimizing or parallelizing this code for GPU, and follow the actions recommendations to produce open MP code that is using this best practice recommendation for open MP data transfers, and also use the open ACC generator to produce the open ACC code that is more friendly from the, from the point of view of understanding the shape of the arrays. And finally, generate these versions, run them on Perlmutter, and see what is the performance gain that you get when you uh, use uh, this open MP and open ACC capability. So uh, from the point of view of the labs, it's essentially the same sequence of command line invocations for Kodi, and it will provide you with the reference sequential version and OpenMP implementation and OpenACC implementation that you can build, compile, and benchmark on Perlmutter. That way we can see that exactly the same sequence of steps can be used to uh, produce GPU code for very different uh, kernels, from Pi computation to matrix matrix multiplication. So this is everything we wanted to present now. So Helen, I think we can use the remaining time to answer, to continue answer Q&A questions and uh, to help the attendees to try to complete these first two labs with Pi and Matmul. Any final remark on your side? Yes, please. Uh, now is the time to do the lab four. And I'll post the directory again, just to, to clarify any questions. <laughs> and uh, make sure you run on a real compute node by sbatch the launch.sh script. The slide deck for, um, all the slides deck from today have been um, posted on the event webpage. To so follow the step-by-step in -step instruction for the lab four, it's gonna be really helpful. Also, I really appreciate uh, the Adventure team for spending the night in Spain <laughs> for this training um, and provide lots of um, the, the exercises are really helpful. I think people want to know how to use your, the tool. It's impractical, especially for, for novice users, like helping them to write, trans, transform the coding and the sequential codes is you know, it's, it's extremely useful. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to all of you for organization and for attending. Really a pleasure and see you tomorrow. Thank you.